He saw a man which was blind from birth. And the disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did see this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And Jesus answers, Neither has this man or his parents see him, but that the works of God should be made manifested in him. Uh, trickle down to verse 8. Verse 8 says, the neighbors, therefore, and they which before had seen him, that he was blind, said, is not this the same who sat and begged? And some said, this is he, others said, as he is like him. But he says, I am he. Uh, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. He says, I am am he. Uh, just for about 15 or 16 minutes of your time, I want to talk on the subject uh, thank God I don't look like the hell I've been through. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, thank God, thank God. I don't I look like the hell like that I've been through. Now give the Lord a hand clap of praise in this place. Most gracious and everlasting Father, Lord, is your son uh, standing here again. Father, I don't stand here for any vain glory, but I stand here, Lord, as I preach and teach your holy word. I pray that you use me in a mighty way. I pray right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will stop by here at Newton or 120 miles and show us and give us a word from on high. Father, 
Father, for all of us need a word from you this morning that we can run on to see what the ending is like. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank God I don't look like the hell I've been through. Uh, my brothers and my sisters, all of us have been through some storms and some rains. Uh, God has allowed all of us to endure some things uh, that was hard for us to even get by. Some of us had some financial difficulties. Others had uh, relationship issues. And there are some of us who have even dealt with some people in the church who have uh, dealt us a wrong hand. Uh, can I get a witness in this place? Sometimes I declare it to you today that when you are going through something, sometimes you begin to look like what you're going through. Can I get a witness here? When you are going through a relationship battle, sometimes you begin to look like that broken relationship. I don't know about any of you when I don't have a lot of money in my pocket or any money, I begin to take form of me having no money. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. When you got a couple of dollars in your pocket, you tend to feel a little bit better. You dress a little bit better. And sometimes you even walk a little bit better. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. When you are going through things in life, sometimes your situations and your circumstances will indeed get the best of you. Can I tell you, it doesn't matter what political or religious stance you have taken, problems, circumstances can take you to a place where you even begin to doubt God. Oh, can I get a witness in this place? Sometimes your condition can get the best of you where you can't even praise God even in his sanctuary. Sometimes in the midst of your hell, you don't want to lift your hands and worship God. When you don't feel good sometimes, you don't even want to come to church. But I just came to encourage just five of you to tell yourself, thank God I don't look like the hell that I've been through. Somebody here ought to know you should have been dead and gone a long time ago. I shouldn't have this suit on. I shouldn't be this good looking. But because of his grace and his mercy, I live another day. But I, the Bible that I read, God says, God inhabits the praise 
of his people. In other words, God lives in your praise. And if God is living in your praise, God will begin to turn that thing around. Regardless of what the world say, God has the final say. So can I get a witness here? Is there anybody in here who knows that God has the final say? So, oh, your condition will not control your condition will control you if you don't be careful. We have to move to a place where we begin to count it all joy, even in the midst of hell. Even when you are in a situation and you can't see your way through, God says, count it all joy anyhow. In other words, you may have to cry. You may have to snap and sneeze, but I dare somebody in the midst of your situation to begin to bless God like you never did before. And just say, Lord, I just thank you for waking me up this morning. Lord, I thank you for just giving me a portion of health and strength. You got to begin to praise God for the little things. And he says, if you be faithful over the small things, then I Can I get a witness? Listen, watch this, watch this. Listen, listen, people. When you're going through something, when you're going through something, uh, sometimes the very people around you will begin to drag the very life out of you. Can I get a, a, a witness here? Sometimes it's the people around you who say, listen, you're never going to amount to anything. It's the people around you who will kill you faster than your enemy. Huh? Is there anybody here who understands that? It's the same person who said, I will never leave you. Uh, but they'll stick a dagger in your back. It's the same person who will give you $5 and yet they will steal from you. Can I get a witness in here? It's the same person who said, baby, I'm with you to the end. But when they get hot, they ain't nowhere around. Uh, sometimes People can be crucial even in the church. Okay, watch this, watch this. Because he, of his blindness, all he can do is sit and beg. Mm -hmm. uh, he understood his handicap. But I need to tell somebody here this morning, don't let your handicap take you to a place where you begin to be hopeless. Sometimes when you are going through something, you just want to throw in the towel. Sometimes when you're going through something, you can't see your way out of it. But that's where your faith ought to kick in. But the Bible says faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So although you can't see your way, I need to follow you to, to begin to press your way. Can I get a week? You may have to go through some storms. You may have to go through the rain. But I declare and I decree this morning, when you get through that thing, you will be a little bit better off than you are when you were going through that thing. Can I get a witness here? Somebody tap your neighbor and say, neighbor, thank God I don't look like the hell I've been through. Watch this. Let me, let me teach you something real quick. The master is concerned with his masterpiece. Uh, the text says, uh, Rabbi, in verse 3, uh, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he should be born blind? Jesus answered, it was neither uh, him or his parents, but in order that the works of God may be displayed in him. Listen to me. All suffering is not due to sin, but God will allow you to go through some things that he can get the glory out of it. Let me help you biblically. Lazarus was uh, dead, but Jesus spoke to him and he got up. The Hebrew boys was in the fire, but God showed up. Jesus was even on the cross, but he got up. In other words, you got to go through something in order for God to get the glory. I know you feel bad right now, but when you come out, he said you will be stronger. You will be better than you was when you went in that thing. 
I need somebody to be able to shout not when the battle is over but you got to begin to shout even in the midst of hell even when you don't got nobody I declare that you got somebody that you can lean on and his name is Jesus is there anybody in here who knows you got a company keeper a man regulator a hot fixer Sometimes we put them in a Baptist box. Sometimes we put them in a Pentecost. 
monster box. Sometimes we put them in a, a holy dance box. But God supersedes your religion. How do I know? Because he's the alpha and he's the omega. He's the creator and the finisher. He's more to me than I come on here somebody. He's more to me than I am to him. So I don't put God in no box. So when I'm dealing with something, I just fall down on my knees and tell the Lord, fix it. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it. I need you to turn it around. Fix it. I need you to turn it around. Heal it. I need you to bless me. Heal it. Is there anybody in here but me? Am I talking to myself? Is there anybody who knows there is something about calling the name of Jesus? Let me give you a roll call. Every time Jesus showed up, everybody was healed. Lazarus got up out of the grave. People of the multitude was fed. All because Jesus showed up. I don't know about any of you, but one day, he showed up in my raggedy life, and I ain't never been the same since. My hand wave is new. My feet run is new. I've learned to shout a little bit. There is something about the name Jesus. There is a witness here.
Oh, shucks, you somebody. Listen, if you would have caught me at the age of 17, you would not see upon these waves. You would have seen some cornrows. My pants were sagging. Come on, here, somebody. A bag of weed in my hand. Y'all ready? Come get with me. Uh, some liquor in my hand. Oh, shucks, am I the only one? But ever since uh, he showed up, uh, he showed up. Yeah. <laughs> 